Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Today we're going to be Nevada stretching a bobcat. So right now we've already got this guy skinned out and he's been flushed. Um, we'll do a video on that real, real soon. So we're, we got this really nice looking tom uh, done. He does have a lot of grease right here on this area and we'll show you how to get rid of that as well in this video. And what we can see right now we have a basswood stretcher here. I get these from Otis Latham. Um, up there in Colorado, Here's, there's a link down in the description. Um, so, I'll just, what I'll do is I'm going to get my cat and I'm going to open him up here, this section, and then I'll slide him right over the strip. And if you have a smaller cat, they're not going to fit on a lot of your stretchers. I suggest getting a large and a small stretcher. Um, at least there's two stretchers, especially these wooden ones are not quite as adjustable as the wider ones are when it comes to the size. Okay, so we got that all centered out. Pretty nice looking job here. Just gonna pull in those ears, put our fingers in those ears, and then just pull down. And then after that, we'll get our eye holes here. Pull the pin here. Stick a pin right there. And I'm making those eye holes real big. Okay, so the game and fish will appreciate that. And it'll be easier and it'll just save us some time here. We'll do the same thing on both eyes. Nothing much to it, just, just making those eyes a little larger. Cats here. Some of these cats that I have are skinnier and they have a smaller of a head area. And they're going to be harder to put on that neck. So it might be a little bit problematic for you. There we go. So I'll just make those eyes real big. It'll also help you get them on your fur here too. And after that, keep on pulling down. It's far from over. And after that, you're going to want to grab the back of the bottom of your hide here and just pull down. Make sure it's all evened out here. And if you can't really tell, get your fur comb and just straighten that line out. I think that's pretty good looking to me. Pretty straight, pretty even. You can see that this is bunched up over here, right here. There's a lot of loose skin that we should um, pull and sometimes you're just not going to be able to get it so I want to make sure you put your time and effort into that that you can do okay so that looks about right we'll just put two more pins here right under those tufts you don't want to lose the tufts pretty thing about these cats these tufts there tufts of those ears so then we'll get two pins and we'll just pin them up real nice make the whole cat look really good okay that looks pretty good I don't know how good it's coming up on that camera but I think it's good to me now I'll flip that over and we'll work on this side here so what I like to do here is I got this little chin right here I keep the bottom lip on. I just think it makes a little bit of a gives a little bit of a better um, presentation. I think so. I just put it on. You don't need it by any means, but it's one of those things that I do either way. A lot of times, in later in February and early March, they'll have this all um, scarred out and stuff because they've been rubbing, and that's the part that they rub. It's okay. Um, I mean, that's just what you get, what you get. So, that's just something I want to point out. So then after that, what I'll do is I get these hangers, coat hangers, and I'll get our arms. Put my fingers in there, and then I'll push this one straight through. You can see. Here, this one's just a dirty arm, but We'll be able to fix, fix that out and make it look really nice later on here. Then I'll get another coat hanger and do basically the same thing. We'll just go the opposite direction so we get the whole 
full, first of all, the full width of that arm there, and as well as a more even stretch through the process there. After that, I'll get a little bit of a dowel, and I just stick that straight in, and that allows for airflow there. And I'll just do the same thing right here. Just kind of open that, put them in here, and make sure these are, are centered with the color line here. You want it to be all centered like that. You want to make sure you got all the bit, every bit of white you can on one side and all the brown on the other side. And then you're gonna do the opposite way. And make sure you don't put those in too deep or else you're not gonna be able to pull them out. One time I had a real big problem with that. And after those dowels, they'll stick up pretty straight, but this one is pretty wobbly. So what after that, I'll just get a pin and go on the underside of the fur. You don't want to close it up. You just want to go on the underside there. And then just pull that pin all the way up as far as you can. And then just pin out that hide there. That's pretty good to me. And then you do the same thing with that next one. The underskin. I usually cut a little bit more than I should probably. I go all the way to the dew claw when I'm skinning these, so make sure I get every little bit of white there's on to, on those cats. Sometimes I've got a real nice cat and they've got white even past their dew claw. And that's pretty good. And then I'll comb this one. This one's definitely need to get gonna need to be dry washed. But those still look pretty good. Definitely better than if it wasn't done like that at all. Pin fell off. Put it back in. So that's pretty nice. Make sure you just display in every bit of white you can on the sides there. Now after that, well, what I'm going to do, make sure you're stretched to the fullest amount of width you can. Width is almost as, as important as length because you're trying to show the widest belly there is on that cat there. So I'm going to stretch this out. This is a pretty good width. Lots of cats are just different. There's some skinny cats and there's some fat cats and just everything in between with these cats. Certainly not the same as a fox or a coyote where you only need one stretcher for. So there, I'll do that and then you'll uh, puff up my fur to make it look denser and heavier and help for the fur butter to be more. So you want to let it start to dry that way from the beginning. And you don't want to just pull your tail. That just looks really weird when you pull out your tails like that. So what I'll do is I'll get a pin and they measure it from the tip of the nose down to the base of the tail right here. So I pull the base of the tail and try to get the most length I can. I don't want to overstretch it though because you don't that's not gonna help you at all later on. So I will not overstretch the cat but I'll make sure I'm getting every tiny bit of length on these cats as I can possibly do. Uh, and then I'll pull another pin right there to the side of it and then one more on this side just securing our length in place here And then after that I will get another pin here and pin out that tail. I don't put, take too much thought to that. I just let it hang a little loose, but I just put it there to make sure it's straight. That cat looks pretty good in the back there. Um, they did a pretty good job there. Flip it over to the belly side and get that. That's really the most important part, except I don't, I use just as many pins on the back as I do the belly. See how pulling that um, fur upwards makes it just look so much 
fluffier and brighter. So after that, what we'll do, we get our lights and add a bit. So what I'll do is I'll pull this, get this pin here, and pull the middle here of this cat down on the belly board. It's the first thing I do. Okay. And after that, I'll get another pin and I'll put it on this the corner of this leg here. And then we'll do that. I'll make sure that looks nice. And then we'll get that same thing with this other leg here. Put that right here. I want to make them about the same length there. If you can't, you can't, but you should try to. And then after that, make it as wide as you possibly can. Like this. And I like to make them very straight and very gradual as those legs come up. Just do those legs. Really nice. And you can use as many pins as you want. I use a lot of pins to make sure they don't look weird. Mm. And I want to make sure it's this heel pad here. I'm going to be stretching that out too. I just want to make sure that whole thing is squared off and really nice and even looking. pin in there. And just keep on pinning up there and we'll show you how that looks in pretty soon. Okay, so it's been five days now since this, we put this hide on here. Uh, this is a different hide. Um, with the one that we put up. As you can see, there still is a lot of grease and wetness right here on this leg. You know, it's all crotch there. It's a little very, um, you know, stringy here. So we're going to show you how to deal with that. And then this cat looks really nice. Lots of well-defined spots. Really nice looking arms as well. So we'll just take all the pins out and these hangers and these dowels out. And then I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, so we just got this cat um, taking all the pins off this cat and the hangers out of it. And we'll pull that cat off. See, a real, real nice looking Arizona cat. Good old nice belly. This is a female cat. Still a really nice looking cat. Whole thing. Lots of well defined spots. A lot of um, pale fur there. It's a really just a really nice looking cat. You can probably tell we come outside for this process. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna borax dry wash this cat here. And it'll look really nice when it's done. So we've got a bob cat hide here in some shallow tub with some uh, borax here. What we're gonna do is we're just going to get our hide here and just rub pretty hard on these spots that are uh, not looking too nice right now. So now we have finally got that all cleaned up right here. It's all really nice and fluffy here. Works really did a lot of cleaning for us. Brush it off a lot. See the nice and uniform legs. Nice looking belly. So we still some borax in that on that fur. So what we do is take it off and we get a um, shop back here. And we're just gonna blow off the eye.
Now that we work, and he's really nice and real good looking cat, really pretty good at the sale, I think. 